we help those who are still having challenges in balancing of accounts, actually recording and balancing of accounts. So I shall take you through steps first that you have to follow when you are dealing with balancing, recording of accounts and balancing, especially the double entry part. So step number one that you should follow when you are given a transaction, every transaction you should be able to identify the two accounts involved. So once you are able to identify these two accounts, you make your life easier a bit. Because remember, this is double entry, so always there are two accounts involved. So be able to identify two accounts involved. Then step number two. From the two accounts, identify the giver or receiver and the giver which of these two accounts is receiving which one is giving right here in terms of receiving and giving we are talking about a value here right as we shall do we shall stick to these steps as we go but from these two accounts identify which account is receiving which one is giving right so when you are recording now you debit the receiver And credit what? Give. Remember, we said to debit is to record on the left side of an account. That's to debit, is to record on the left side, left hand side of an account. And to credit is to record on the right hand side of the same of another account right so on one account you record on the left on another account you record on the right right so we shall follow these steps as we end i'm going to use the illustration that we did um this one this is what i'm going to to do to use but i shall end the transactions up to date number 80 here somewhere here i'm not going to do everything so what is happening here started business with 16000 in the bank now each time someone is starting a business here they may say owner or they can even mention the name of the owner here but if for as long as you are starting the business or for as long as the owner is bringing in something into the business, this is capital, right? And then the other account here is bank, it's mentioned. So we have two accounts, that's step number one. The two accounts involved here is capital and bank. So who is giving out of these two accounts? Who is receiving? The receiver here, is the bank account and the giver is the capital account so this is the receiving but it's a receiving from what from capital right how much is it receiving 16,000 right so the capital account is giving where is it giving to to the bank account how much is it giving? 16,000. Right. So we have ended our transaction. Remember, we said step number three 
one account is debited and another account is credited we have done that we have completed our three steps we move to the next transaction here bought a motor vehicle paying by check so the key things here are right motor vehicle or motor van check but we don't create an account called a check account well, the moment you hear the word check you know this is a representing bank because transactions that go through the bank are done through checks most of the times all right so motor vehicle is one account bank is the other account which one is giving and which one is receiving there right we are buying a motor vehicle so the motor vehicle account is receiving and the bank account is giving so bank account is giving to motor vehicle it's giving how much what is the value there six four right so it's a receiving motor vehicle is receiving from bank so it receives money to buy a motor vehicle here using a check of 6400 right so we have completed our second transaction here we go back to our transactions number five date five what happened on that day that's right uh, office finish fix chance we bought on credit so no no cash was paid here from this so we create the account of the supplier here because we have not paid remember office fixtures represents an asset so when it is an asset these are not goods for sale we don't use the purchase account here we are buying an asset so we create a, an account for this asset known as office fixtures account so we should have an office fixtures account right let's see right office fixtures account not office equipment and this office fixtures account is receiving this is on the five from all delimited right we need the account for all limited because we have not right we have not paid all limited so we created the account for all limited showing that we received office fixtures so all limited was the giver of office fixtures of how much 900 so here there is also 900 here. Good. Right. We are done. We move back to our transactions on 8. Right. What happened on 8? Bought another motor vehicle. Here. On credit again. From Carton Motors, which means we did not pay Carton Motors, so we need to create an account for this supplier again. But the motor vehicle account we already have it. We don't create a new motor vehicle account. We go and record in the motor vehicle account that we already have. Right. So this is what we are going to do. Right. So we are going to record in our motor vehicle. Right. This is on the eighth. This is being received from Cartoon Motors. How much is that? Five one zero zero. Right, I'm not going to open Cartoon Motors account for now. I will end here because I just want to use these accounts for illustration. But um 
you shall see that as you proceed with these accounts, especially these transactions here, right? Transactions such as this one, and this one, and this one. All these three, one, two, three, they affect the bank. So I'm going to enter the entries in the bank account only so that I will be able to balance my bank account with all transactions in that account. Right.